They call it Storm Week and for good reason. Midweek games have had a huge influence on the race for the playoffs in the 2023 Bunnings NPC. There have been upsets for sure and it's Bay of Plenty who will be on guard this week as they take on the Southland Stags. Kia ora tato, Hardy my welcome to this Wednesday night clash from Rugby Park in Vercargill where the Steamers will try and lock up a quarter final and the Stags will be out to try and end a losing run that now goes back a full year. This is Selby Rickett Boys, in the four jersey, Naitoa Akoi in front of him. Yep, come in. All of you come in. Josh Beckus in the middle of the line out for Southland just looking where the point of the attack might come. They go to the front. And Selby Rickett, and they channel it back to Eklund. Just getting a little bit close to the touchline, so Eklund has to peel off, spins away, and he's put on the ground just five metres out. Tauri Urangi sends it away to his left. Waiting for it now is Bartlett. Man who got the winning try against Northland. Here's Paul, swings it on. Hawara and Fina Anganopo is in in the corner. Well, they did it by the book. Perfect execution and Bay of Plenty with just barely three minutes on the clock have opened the scoring. Yeah, the backs finish it well, but it comes off the back of some great play by the forwards. They roll up their sleeve, they get the all going, and then they just get around the corner, around the corner, and shorten up the Southland defensive line, and that's the finish result. Open up. Thank you. Here's Wanga. Jacob Norris going in to help him out. Paul goes hard at them. He can really trouble defenders, this guy. They'll take it back to the left. Selby Rickett, and he's it. Well, it's just relentless, isn't it? And then the forward, just the brutality of the forwards, they just start sweeping back to the left. And then eventually in that final ruck, Southland had three or four people on the ground, which opened up holes. Yep, perfect right there. Yep. This is going to be a chance for the forward. Beckuous takes it down. Taylor comes racing and ball's been dropped. He picked it up again smartly. Get out, get out. Selby Rickett has to get out of there. That leaves them a man down just for a moment. They can't really advance it, though. And so Jay Renton is there. Thank you, Rudy. Gets the call. And has a little dab himself. Renton, he's over. Jay Renton the try. The Stags hit back. And they needed that, didn't they, Joey? They needed it for their confidence. 20 minutes into the game, they've been under siege. And they just had a little bit of momentum. Just a little bit of territory, a little bit of possession. They set them all up, and then Renton ducks around and gets in there. And Jay Renton, he was strong enough to get himself over the line. It's exactly what the Southland side needed to keep themselves in this fight. Eklund. Selby Rickett. Judd sending the pass away to La Sanga. Tony Rangi looks As like he might bring feet, it back the ball in. to the Number left. Number 13's off feet. Scams away. And Howard's pass is picked off. Fine, Viliami Fine is going to score. And he's going to level it up. Well, they're a hearty team, the Southland side. And that showed today, but all throughout, throughout the season. You look up at the scoreboard and it's 10 all. Here it is here. Pass here, picks it off, 50 metres, it's a straight sprint race, Judd can't get him. And as I said, 30 minutes into the game, 10 all and a credit to Southland. Beautifully read, wasn't it, Viliami Fine? That ignited the terrace, fired them right up. Now can Banks be the first person to land a successful kick at goal? Oh, he's yeah, missed it. Off. Something Stops going on. Eight players, I believe. Oh, no. Beckles is there. Bit of momentum, too, in the driving wall. Sushon comes away with it. Because they've got the bit between their teeth now, Southland. They're well fired up. Fine takes it to within a couple of metres of the line. Latu having a go. 
They send it away to the Good right. Fine is there. They're offside by a plenty. He's over the line. No, driven back into the field of play. Well, they've got penalty advantage, but they want to try. They're getting close. Vecuous sends it away on the left. Lotto is in. Tavita Lotto scores, and Southland at the front. Wasn't flash, but there was a fair bit of brutality in what they did here. Bar plenty defending with all their lives here, but this one here, when Becuis picks the ball up, the number five, just goes a little bit wider of the ruck there and opens up that little seam and in he goes. Brilliant awareness, wasn't it? Josh Becuis to find to beat Alatu. They come the other way, Bartlett. Leave the nine, thank you, good work. Singh tempted but didn't in the end. And look at this rush defence. Blair Ryle getting up. They won another penalty. You can see on the screen there, 12 phases has just jumped off. 12 phases. And the defence from the Stags Good is nothing away. short of top notch. Well, a 10-point lead would have seemed very unlikely 20 minutes ago. But that's what they've got. Southland have come storming back. Gave up two early tries. Bartlett really winds himself up for the charge, doesn't he? Now here's his mate. Tossie lost it. And of course, every Bay of Plenty mistake now. It's been greeted with a big roar from the crowd. That's an awkward bounce. Southland have got it. Leave it. Yeah, ball's out. And they scramble it away. Brilliant offload. And oh, Try was in the begging there. Matt Funger. The advantage over. No. Oh boy, Southland, they might have had a chance there if Matt Funger had grabbed that ball. Clock ticking over to 8.15. That's still afternoon in Nine. Stephen Bates' world. He hasn't Nine. changed his clocks for daylight saving still. Oh, Selby Rickett takes it. Eklund's got it and charges through the middle. Eklund over the line. That's a try. And there it is. As mentioned, it's been a source of, of their tries. This time here, they don't have to go away from anything but the driving mall. And Kurt Eklund, he's the one who dots down. Good speed. They get up and they're there nice and quickly. All three of them punch in together. And then they just they just work and stay nice and low, stay connected, leave the mess behind them. And Kurt Eklund puts one in the corner. Vai, what can he spark? The brilliant sevens player. Up to the 10 metre mark he goes. And a chance out here on the left too. And here busting onto it is Fine Young and Ruffel. Still breaking tackles. Eventually stopped just five short of the line. Chance on the left, Vai is there. They scramble across, and the ball's been lost forward. Here we go here, here's the, here's the break. They go to the left there, big break straight through the middle here. Then they recycle the ball quite quickly as well. The, the Southland defense is all over the shot, but unfortunately here for Cody Vai, he just gets trapped there, and then little knock on. A quick line out play at the front. And Bay of Plenty are really looking to up the ante here. Rion Paul takes it inside the 22. Advantage coming. Jake Norris, he's put on the ground. Tauri Orangi looking to hook up with Kumiroa. Sends it on. And oh, lovely ball for Naitoa Akoi. And a step and the try. Got some quality in that Bay of Plenty. And they leveled it up at 20 all. You could feel it coming, couldn't you? It was relentless, the pressure was coming, it was coming, it was coming, and then eventually they just cracked. They get high on the outside in their defence, Southland, which opens up a little little gap. Here we go here. They go high, Judd comes through there, offloads to Akoi, a right foot step, a little fend, and over he goes. And just that little pop pass, but a great finish from that man. It's all right, Akoi. Well, he, he's due a, a successful conversion. He's had three goes.
And finally, Faranui Hawada raises the flags. But what's really important about that is it takes them one be point behind Tasman, who they play this weekend. And they force another scrum penalty while Southland holding. They have plenty, have to use it. That was a great scrum from the Stags. Paul is put on the ground. Just for a moment, it looked like South. Oh, it's an intercept! Fina, is he going to do it again? Oh, smacked in the tackle. I think Howard is in trouble here. Crowd are not happy. Has he gone in with the arms? I don't think so. This is huge. Yeah. Let's have a look here. Well, what do you think, Batesy? No, I think it's fine. I think it's fine, yeah. think it's fine. actually. He's got his arm up. I initially thought it was a shoulder charge. He's got his arm up. He's been beaten by the sidestep. To be fair, I think that's fine. It's just a... It... The initial contact was with the shoulder, but there was definitely an, an attempt yeah, to wrap the arm. From what I've been told, there was no head contact. He could have made a better attempt to wrap, so at penalty only. That's the way we see it, OK? You would like the shot? Thank you. Shot call. So what this means is that Dan Holland's head has a chance to put Southland in front with just over four minutes to play. Hush over the crowd. Here's the kick. They like it. They like it. They love it. Remember, goal kicking tonight has not been easy for some reason for either teams, both leaving points out there. So now, Southland just four minutes away from their first win of the season. Oh, here's a chance for Bay of Plenty now. Jacob Norris. Are they prepared to have the shot at goal? This is the one that matters. This is the one that matters the most. 25 seconds. And he's running out of time. Paranui Hawara steps in and he's got it. Oh boy, he was under so much pressure because he was running out of time. Use it! And he's trying to hurry them up now. Kumidor. Southland getting up quickly on him. Oh, and they've got the penalty! Another twist in the game, you bet there is. That is a big kick though, TJ. That is a big kick. Dan Holland said he's already nailed one under pressure. Can he get the winner for Southland? Here it goes. It's holding up. It's holding up. It's away. It's away. And Holder sends it into touch. And it goes out near halfway. They will get a line out though, Southland. Brave attempt. Can they find a way? We're into the red. Down the back it goes. Beckuous obliges. And John Arfour trying to get himself round and through. Oh, he's got an advantage. Southland are going to get another chance. Fine. We're going oh, back. he's going to go back. Oh, that's a long, long advantage. A year and two days since their last victory, Dan Hollinshead against his old team gets a second chance to win it for Southland. There's the kick. Oh, no. No. Just never had enough on it. They put it into touch, and to their great relief, Southland are beaten. To the great relief of Bay of Plenty, that is. Utter frustration for the Stags, and particularly for Dan Hollinshead. Never easy when you take on the responsibility of trying to win the game. Conditions have not been easy for goal kicking tonight, and Bay of Plenty We'll go back home to Tauranga to take on the Mako, quite possibly for a home quarter final advantage.